Welcome to Red in Motion. Our video will look at an important paper in the American Journal of Respiratory Cell and Molecular Biology. Here, we discuss epigenetic reprogramming drives epithelial disruption in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease by researchers from Johns Hopkins and other collaborating sites in America. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, remains a pressing global health issue, contributing significantly to mortality and morbidity worldwide. Despite its profound impact, there has been a notable lack of focus on addressing epithelial alterations, which play a critical role in the disease process. Recent research has revealed that loss of cell cell adhesion molecule E cadherin, encoded by the CDH1 gene in different types of lung epithelial cells, causes chronic airspace enlargement and airway hyperactivity in mice. Understanding whether CDH1 plays a role in COPD is essential for developing targeted interventions that can alter disease progression and improve patient outcomes. To this end, researchers explored the role of DNA methylation in the regulation of the CDH1 gene and its implications for epithelial integrity in COPD. By utilizing differentiated normal and COPD-derived human airway epithelial cells, genetically manipulated mouse tracheal epithelial cells, and precision-cut lung tissue sections. The researchers observed a significant increase in DNA methylation at the CDH1 enhancer D region in COPD-derived cells. This heightened methylation correlated with reduced binding of RNA polymerase II, the multiprotein enzyme complex that is vital for gene transcription. They also found that treatment with the DNA demethylation agent 5-Aza-29-Deoxycytidine resulted in restored epithelial integrity, reducing airspace enlargement in COPD-affected tissue. These findings highlight a novel mechanism targeting epigenetic modifications to counter tissue remodeling in COPD-affected lungs and offer a promising avenue for developing advanced therapies. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Bonnie H. Jungluck and colleagues. Thank you for watching Red in Motion.